It all needs to be there. Quote, the total number of minds in the universe is one, end quote, Erwin Schrodinger. In common pedestrian thinking, we habitually consider that our personal actions affect only what we can see and hear. We carry out our daily mundane chores and recreations with little thought to how those actions may be connected to the rest of the world. As Jacques Fresco, well-known futurist, once said, we think we're completely free and unconnected, just walking around. But take away the air, we die. Take away the bees, we die. It's the total oneness of life, the sum total of all interactions from microbes to human nations that is affected by our every act and more fundamentally by our every thought. I wax philosophical on this point because what we are witnessing in the human society globally is an awakening driven by not only instant access to information about anything, but the deep desire for freedom, truth, and justice unprecedented in human history. During a Zoom call recently, some participants were bemoaning that there was just too much information out there and much of it was contradictory, requiring actual work to resolve the cognitive dissonance it was creating. This was causing some people to simply give up, call it all BS, and ignore any information that contradicted their standard conclusions and accepted values about life. I waded into the discussion saying that the work of separating the BS from the truth is actually the unfolding of how our values create our lives, and to shirk this responsibility is only making things more confusing in the short term and the long term. Our formal education systems have failed us in this thinking department, robbed us of our intuition and stunted our imaginations, all of which we need to make sense of what's going on right now. It's easy to simply duck out, comply with whatever the authorities want from us, and adjust the blinders to any challenges to our value systems. We get caught up in the loudest noises from the usual sources and don't make the effort to drill down to the true signal underneath. Because of the sheer mass of information cascading into our lives, we are forced to filter. Yet, if we filter in self-defense rather than filtering to separate the BS from the truth, we just end up confused and frustrated. One woman on that Zoom call made the point that, yes, follow the money when you're unraveling the politics of the moment, but more importantly, follow your heart when it comes to making decisions about your own life, not depending on someone else who seems to know what they're talking about. Only you know what's going on with you. At a local level, things may seem chaotic, but pull back to the bigger picture and perspective begins to kick in. Once you can reach the place that allows and appreciates all points of view as being necessary, your mind becomes a fusion point to discharge the energies of opposition, bringing a little more peace into the world. When knee-jerk resistance is all there is, conflict and confusion only grows. My shaman guru back in the day used to tell me, It all needs to be there. The trick is to become comfortable with discomfort unaffected by chaos, and unmoved by fear. Dramatic intensities suck up fear and resistance like a tornado, but dissipate from the cool air of peace, and thus the storm of contradictions, creating fear and terror, are soothed and resolved in the compassionate heart. There is no better time than now to love. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX, www.pureenergyrx.com.